The 200 and then the final of the 400, 400 oh, within final. a couple of hours of each other. Pretty much track. impossible, I'd say, <laughs> at this <laughs> level. <laughs> Francine McCrory, of course, is the <laughs> woman who's been lighting up this event this year from America <laughs> with a 49.85 clocking in Eugene earlier on. <laughs> Won't be in the individual <laughs> event in the World <laughs> Championships. He's going to be in the Rio. I mean, or Justina Sweetie of Poland, the really fast finisher in her semi final. Sander Belgian of Romania in lane two. Not the second off her season's best in her semi. Now dead in the heats of the 400 hurdles. Yang Hui Zhen of China goes in lane three, the Asian champion. Setting a new personal best in that event. Nearly proved it again here in her semi final. Marga Jata Holland of Poland looking to uh, continue the Polish charge towards the medals here this afternoon. Then Justin Palfreman of South Africa, surely the favourites here of bronze in the 4x4 relay two years ago and in the heats two years ago in the individual, but now surely the hot favourite. And outside of her, for Slovakia, I've eaten. Petalova, fourth in the European indoors earlier this season. Almata Milani of Italy looked pretty swift in her semi final. Big season's best for her there. Some type a little bit perhaps just as they came down the straight. And then out on the outside lane there, Ruth Sophia Spellmeyer. Justine Powerman's personal best goes back though to. 2012. She's yet to get anywhere near those figures of 51.87 that she said in Barcelona. Um, she does have the uh, well, the fastest of the season best. All of these girls, in fact, have been under 53 seconds this season. None of them have been under 52 seconds, though. This could be a tight, tight race. Kaufman, though, has broken her personal best at 100 and 200 this season. So she's uh, developing good peaks, good speed. So, Sweetie, Belgian, Yang, Holub, Palfreman, Patalova, Nani, Spellmeyer. Lanes one through eight. This is the final of the women's 400 metres. Already making inroads on Patalova outside of her, in fact, already past her shoulder. Palfreman clearly in the lead as they go through the first 100 metres. Going well on the outside lane there seems to be Spellmeyer at this moment. And also in lane three as well, Yang Hui Zhen. But it's Palfreman at the moment, certainly in the lead as they go through the 200 metre mark. The South African certainly in the lead, but now being wound in by the uh, Polish Holland. As they go round that top bend, but unable to make much of an impression at the moment as Palfreman storms down the home straight with a good seven or eight metre lead as Yang looks to try and overhaul Holland for the silver medal. Those two battling it out for the minor placings. The fast finish as well there from Spellmeyer on the near side. But it's Palfreman who takes gold ahead of Heiser and Holland in the end. Those two very close indeed for the uh, silver and bronze medals. In fact, it was Holub who just took it by 500s for the uh, Chinese lady. All three of those, in fact, under 52 seconds for the first time this season. And a high quality race indeed there. Justin Palferman, 51-27, a huge personal best and the fastest she's run for a number of years. First major title then for Justine Palferman after taking uh, a relay gold medal at the African Junior Championships in 2011. She ran that really hard, really well. The others never really got anywhere near her. Once she established her lead, she just kept out in front. Really good finishing from Holub of Poland, who held her form really well under pressure from the Chinese Yang insider in lane three. Palfman, though, got it out hard, drove into the first corner. And by the time that they came off the bend, she'd already established her lead. And then it was just a question of her holding her form 
down the final straight. And to be honest, it never really looked as though the others were going to catch up with her. Behind her, though, there was a really good race developing. Spellmeyer out in the outside lane of Germany. You don't even see her at the moment. But she had come off the bend and obviously had a lot in the tank and really finished fast. She needed perhaps another 10 metres, though, if she was to catch up. Left a little bit too late, but Palferman never challenged as she comes through to set new personal best times. Indeed, four of the five, all with lifetime best in that race. Yeah, Palferman, the class of the field there. Holub, though, and Yang having a real ding-dong battle for the uh, silver and bronze medals in the end as the 500s for Tienem and Spellmeyer only 600s further back as well nearly managed to close them out just though ran out of time say she left it late but still she knocked half a second off of her personal best as well and Yang Huizhen first time in her life under 52 seconds on top of that and very swiftly on the back of that 